Hello, We Can Wednesday. Welcome, wealthy, healthy, on purpose, positive people, fabulous groups, extraordinaire. Thank you for joining me, Unstoppable Tracy. So unstoppable, I'm losing my earphones. And I am here with someone who has an incredible name. Her name is also Tracy, beside me on this Zoom call. The reason this week's we Can Wednesday is on a Zoom call recording is because Tracy is from Wales. Tracy Jones. You can see her name on the screen. Tracy Jones. And, and she is from Chrysalis Mindset Coaching. Tracy, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello. Hi, Tracy. <laughs> oh, it's fabulous to have you here, Tracy, with an E. I am Tracy with no E. And Tracy with an E has a cat. And I am Tracy with no E with a puppy. You might see my puppy in my picture. Yeah, this is so <laughs> funny. So she's no E or with an E and a cat. And I'm no E with a dog. So when we <laughs> compliment each other, I'm, I'm sort of brownie red and she's a fabulous blonde <laughs> and i'm on this side of the world and she's on that side of the world it's so great tracy you have this really interesting job you are a language alchemist yes I'm can you what is that mm. Yes, so I challenge people and I leverage their language to support their emotional state. And it's unbelievable how many people do not understand how language has an impact on us. Oh, but yeah. It's just phenomenal. And the work we do is, oh, my word, it's life changing. I And you know what? You and I are friends, right? We're friends outside of this. And I'm so excited. I'm going to be seeing Tracy in Wales in May and April. And we're doing a UK tour right after my Italy gourmet wine tour, which is fabulous. And so Tracy has shared with me some of her really cool. She comes home after work so motivated. She's like, oh, my God, I had this amazing conversation today. And I'm like, I got to get you on weekend because she's so fabulous. Yeah. And so... We, you said, you know, interesting about the emotional state was one of the words that you said that I'd love to share. Like, do you have an example, like one you shared with me last week or another one that comes to mind? Yes. Yeah, so we shared a few examples last week, but one that really does come to mind and it might resonate with people is sleep deprivation. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. And I was working with one lady and she was, you know, work was so, so busy with her and her language pattern. And we were just discussing things. We were chatting one day. And she just said, oh, my goodness me, I'm always tired. I went, okay, that's interesting. And she said, I'm, I just don't sleep. I'm never sleeping. And I went, oh, that's really interesting. You're never sleeping. So you've done really well to get here today then if you're never sleeping. And some of you listening, hear yourself here. Are you that person? Do you have trouble sleeping? You never sleep, just can't sleep. Do you find yourself? Yes, yeah, the language. When we think about the language, because for this lady saying that she never sleeps, um, so I challenge the never, challenge those universal quantifiers. So when I challenged the never, it came round with her, and she actually said, well, actually, it's not never. I sleep about three, four hours a night. I went, okay, so tell me a little bit more about it. She said, well, I fall asleep about 11, and I get up around 4.30 in the morning. So, so she was having about four or five hours sleep. Yeah. I said, okay, so you never sleep? She said, well, yeah, I actually do get a couple of hours. I said, is it broken sleep? She said, no. She said, actually, I am sleeping through. So when I asked her then, how long has this been happening for? And she said, about two and a half years. And she said, I'm just exhausted all the time. I said, okay, so give me a time when you were sleeping seven to eight hours a night. It was about three years ago. And I said, okay, so go back to about three years ago. Were you as tired three years ago as you are tired now? And she just laughed. And she went, <laughs> she said, yes, I am. Yeah. Said, right. Okay. So has the tiredness changed? No. Are you sleeping? Yes, I am actually sleeping. Okay. So how does that feel now? She said, it's feeling lighter. Oh. Okay. So what did you say to yourself this morning when you first got out of bed? And she said, I'm exhausted. <laughs> yeah. I'm tired. Right, let's start catching those thoughts and catch that thought, respect it, but throw it away. It's not serving you any good. No. You need to reframe it with something more positive. 
But what had happened to her was, because we need to visualize as well. So she was visualizing herself in a stress state, not sleeping. So I asked her a question. I said, talk to me a little bit about your bedroom, about your bed. And she went, oh, I have the most comfortable bed, really comfortable. So tell me a little bit more about it then. Oh, I've got this beautiful duvet. It's a feather down. Okay, so it's a nice. So as she's talking to me about her bedroom, you could see her physiology just changing. It's getting a lot lighter. I said, okay, so let's reframe it. Instead of saying, I'm never going to sleep tonight, I'm going to struggle sleeping tonight. Let's reframe it. And I can't wait to go to bed tonight. Within 48 hours, she was sleeping through. Holy cow. So she was sleeping then. She was um, sleeping for about four to five hours. But then within the 48 hours, she was sleeping longer because she was more relaxed with herself. Yes. The tiredness was the same within that four hours or whether she was having seven hours. It was just the stress she was putting on her thought process. Yes. Well, and, and it sounds like she was even getting six hours, yeah. which is all we really need. Well, that's it. Because, you know, you've got to ask yourself as well, does she need to have the six, seven hours? But maybe she's just changed her uh, sleeping habits. But it was her language that she was putting so much pressure on herself that it was, um, it was holding her back to enjoy that sleep. Oh, yeah. You know, it's, phenomenal for, it's all these little things that we say. It's, it's, it's quite tricky for some people to recognize that. I love your example because, one, it's like a real illustration of the power of language. But I also love it because, I mean, how many of us entrepreneurs that are like go-getters, making it work for ourselves, like a lot of the people in these groups yeah. that feel like they're not getting much sleep because they're one person yeah. business yeah. and they love what they're doing and they're making it work and so they're almost proud that they're not getting enough sleep but they are feeling exhausted and so you've given them two tools one about the power of language but two also if we're having these sleep conversations I know I was for sure yeah. right and so how, how you've given us two fabulous breakthroughs not just the power of language but the power of getting a better night's rest Yes, and when you're thinking about the entrepreneurs there, you know, the, the amount of pressure that you've got, what you've got on your mind every single day, it's yes. actually going to sleep with that sort of relaxing mind as well, even though that you're sending those emails out in the middle of the night, and, you know, you're, you're looking at that next um, large contract, yeah. just relaxing this little mind, uh, relaxing the mind a bit through your language, it is so, so powerful, I mean, the ROI, the people I've worked with that we've really pulled the ROI up regarding just the language of your um the people you work with yeah and one thing i'd like to say is just you entrepreneurs when you are walking around or you work you're in your business just walk around and listen to the way people speak yes if we could challenge the way our colleagues speak that's going to have a massive impact on your roi Huge i know our time is is uh getting beyond what I asked we could do. But when you say the word challenged, mm -hmm. one of the things that makes you a language alchemist is that you have a very approachable way for people to open up and, mm -hmm. and, and share with you. And mm -hmm. so there's a very sensitive balance in making that challenge. It's not just challenging it. Do you think you could give another example that's really specific around all of these coaches online are going to want to share your tip and the power of your tip. And it, yes. there's, there is a, a real skill in the way you challenge. Mm -hmm. Have you got another example of any kind that helps yes. people hear the way you challenge? Yes. So I'm very much, I gracefully challenge people also. Yes. Um, and we've got to bring that self-awareness into it as well. So if yeah. we are that entrepreneur, that CEO of a um, business, a company, we need to know what makes our um, colleagues tick as well and it's using their language back at them yes using their same representational system it's it's using the keywords back and forth it's gaining that rapport with them on that depth of that level so if somebody's saying to me i can't see that contract working yeah i'm going to use that same representational system with them and challenge them and in what way can't you see that um, new contract working Challenge yes. that language. Don't contaminate the language. Don't contaminate our language back to people. Just repeat their words. Repeat yeah. Words. And what we do, with, what that will support us with as well, is tightening up our meetings as well. We're sharpening yes. the meetings up. And yes. And that's really challenging people. And, and, I mean, her lovely accent to all of us in 
Canada would certainly get her very far. But you could see it's more than just her pleasant, approachable smile, her voice, her body language, on top of her little accent, right? Yeah. She very friendly said, very approachably, with a very soft smile, oh, in what way mm. is that contract not doable. And she did an even better job of parroting exactly what they said, but she used contract and she said, in what way? Like it wasn't, oh, in what way? It wasn't defensive. The voice tone was very inviting, non-judgmental. And so it was, and her facial expression was really interested in inquiring, not judging. And so you challenged and you say challenged, but secretly that's a challenge in your head and a mindset. It's your body language and your voice tone. That's all part of inviting them to see it. But you're the one that knows inside your head it's a challenge. It's not actually any kind of challenging body language or voice tone at all. No, no, no. It's just gracefully challenge them with their, their representational system, their language, but it's challenging their language. If there's, their language is holding them back, that even a small, small, tiny fragment that is going to have an impact on your ROI. Yes. Yes. Let's yeah. raise those returns on investment through the roof and skyrocket. <laughs> Tracy, every time I talk to you, I walk away with golden nuggets. I would love oh. for my world, you know, who you surround yourself with is who you become. And I want my world to surround themselves with you, Tracy. How do they find you? How do they get more of Tracy and your words of wisdom? Right. So I'm on chrysalismindsetcoaching.com. Dot com. Chrysalis Mindset Coaching. Will you spell chrysalis? Yes. It's C-H. Oh, now you're asking something. I need to write it down quite often. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's one of those words. Um, C-H-R-Y-S-A-L-I-S. Perfect. Yeah. Chrysalis Mindset <laughs> Coaching. Yeah. And I invite you in the comments when we share these mm -hmm. to say, you know, nice to meet you all and put your name and your and your group so that people can find you really easy in the comments of all the group shares, please. Yeah. Yeah. Because people will love to reach out to you and find you and like you and, and you too. You're going to want to like their groups back because they too have valuable shares back and forth with each other. Wonderful. Oh, Thank you so much for joining me today with fabulous tips. You, you, our time isn't long enough to really dig in deep because you just probe the interest of more. Thank you, Wealthy Healthy on Purpose, and all of you groups joining us, me and Tracy and Tracy. Please remember to also like the group, Wealthy Healthy on Purpose, WHOP, WAP, into action. And please remember to like Unstoppable Tracy, too. Wonderful. Bye, everyone. See you next Wednesday, Weekend Wednesday.